Hey everybody, welcome to this quick tutorial to show you how to import and texture models in Element 3D. As you may be aware, Element 3D currently supports the import of OBJs and Cinema 4D files. They come in untextured and basically you have to reapply the textures yourself and that is either very easy or very hard depending on what the textures have been called. So for this example, uh, very quick, if I just click on the file, uh, you can either import it through this way in your model browser or click on the import button which will navigate to uh, your nearest directory which is my models in this case. So when you're happy, click on the model, import it in. So this is your default view. Now to apply a texture, just click on the one you want to do, so in this case the body. Go to your folder where you stored the model in the first place and you should have some textures. Element 3D only supports uh, JPEGs and PNG files. So if you haven't got the required file format, uh, you can convert them in something like Photoshop quite easily. So when you have the file you want to do uh, to add, just drag it down into After Effects and place it on the Diffuse Layer slot. Brilliant. Uh, some models also come with bump images. These add an extra level of detail. So in this case, it's called PIR. I don't know why. If you do know, leave a comment and just drop it onto normal bump. And there we go, straight away, it's changed the model. So then we apply it to the head. Go back into your directory. For some reason, the head is called Casco. Drag it down under After Effects, drop it onto the diffuse slot. And there we go, one model done. You can adjust it to fit the scene by playing with all the different settings. Uh, you can play with reflection and illumination and all that kind of stuff. But if you when you're happy with it, just click on OK, and it's imported into your scene, no problem at all. To save the preset as is, so you can easily recall it at a later date, just right click on the file name, select Save as Model Preset, and then just call it what you like, and click on OK. And that's it, job done. OK, I'm going to show you the other end of the spectrum now, whereby a model requires a lot of texturing. In this instance, it's a car. Uh, you petrol heads out there may recognize it as a Lamborghini LP670. As you can see there, it's fairly high detailed. It looks pretty, pretty cool when fully done up. From looking at the materials over here, you can see that they were quite a lot to do. And the only texture that was not included with the pack was the colour, the actual body. And uh, all you have to do for that is, if I just zoom in a bit, is if you scroll down to diffuse colour and you can just change it to whatever you like, you can have it as green if you like, a blue Lambo, whatever it takes your pick. Uh, so if we go back to try and get that orange look back there. When you're happy with it, click on OK. Um, to get the shininess of the paintwork, you can adjust the specular level, also the shininess. Uh, the reflection plays a big part, so if I, as I adjust that, you should see the color change there. Uh, basically, it all depends on how your scene looks, whether it's in daylight, nighttime, you, you get the idea. Um, how shiny the pet work, uh, pink work is, you can make it look like it's just come out of a car wash, if you want to do a brand new out of the showroom, and things like that. I will also uh, show you how to do the glass as well. Just go down and try and find glass. There it is. It comes as a default texture with this model. Hopefully it does with yourself. If not, just apply a uh, grey diffuse colour and then apply the following steps. And also, as you can see, the original format was in uh, Targa, a TGA file in other words, and I had to convert these in Photoshop before I could use them in the model. So back in After Effects, click on Glass. In this case, here we are, I've dragged a texture there, or as I was just saying, you could use a diffuse color of gray or black. Then when you're happy with that, you can play with the reflection to judge the look and feel. And if you scroll down, this is the main important one, under the Advanced tab, you will see Force Opacity. And it is by adjusting this that you will be able to create the look of glass. By default it's set to 100 and you can't see a thing, but if you just bring it down just a touch, to run about 76% in this instance, there you go. You can see the headlights, you can actually look inside the car. Uh, this took quite a 
bit of work to do, but I think you agree that the end result is quite good, and it, it's quite a detailed module model in that you do have the Lamborghini logo on the wheel. <laughs> so I'm quite pleased with the way this looks, and as usual, when you're happy with it, right click, save model as preset, and just go from there. So there we are. That was just a quick tutorial on how to import and texture models in Element 3D. Thanks for watching. There'll be more soon.